are saying here in Lagos, the discussion about paternity fraud has become very popular in recent days across Nigeria. A Plus TV Africa's correspondent Osaoge Ogbonwa takes a look at this with other angles to the conversation. Take a look. The conversation around paternity fraud is trending across Nigeria with recent tales of fathers finding out that they may not be the true parents of their kids. The most recent being the case of the current managing director of the First City Monument Bank, Adam Nuru, and accusations against him involving a female junior staff. Unverified statistics from a few years ago stated that Nigeria had the second highest rate of paternity fraud in the world, only second to Jamaica. These figures have not been completely verified with data or statistics, but it has started a conversation nationwide about infidelity in Nigerian marriages and high occurrence of workplace relationships in our society. A lady working in an organization spends more, even a man, you spend more time in the office than at home. And so you relate more with your colleagues in the office. And so as a spouse, take time to communicate. You started by communicating. You must end with communication. So but in the absence of communication, just like you say, when you don't talk to your kids, somebody will talk to them. In the absence of communication, be sure that somebody else is talking to your partner. Many times as adults, as we make decisions, we tend not to understand the long-term effects. And I would say that um, I can only hope that in the midst of all that's going on, you know, the children are sought about and the long-term effects on the children are considered. The cost of DNA testing in Nigeria may also be one of the factors working against its popularity. Many of um, Nigeria facilities are primary care centers and um, secondary centers that are not really prepared or advanced for DNA testing. So it's not readily available in Nigeria, but is um, accessible in Nigeria as well. Paternity fraud is real, but will our society and culture accept that the very definition of fatherhood may be changing or that the emotional ties between a man and the child are just as important as the biological relationship? Osaogi Ogbonwa, reporting for PLOS TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.